A common requirement on the front end is being able to sort a list of items. For example, on an e-commerce site, you may want to sort the products by their price, low to high or high to low. For our scenario, let's say you need this list of products sorted by this price property. Let me show you how to access such an endpoint. If we navigate to localhost port 3000 slash products, we get the list of products in the same order they're present in db.json file. To sort this data, in the URL, we add question mark, underscore sort, and this we set it to the property on which we want the sorting. In our case, that is price. So underscore sort is equal to price. And when we make this request, you can see products sorted in the ascending order of their price from 1000 all the way till 7000. By default, the sort order is ascending. If you want descending as the sort order, we need to append ampersand underscore order is equal to DESC. Now the price goes from 7000 to 1000. Sometimes you might want sorting by multiple fields. For example, we have three products with price 4000. Let's say we want the next level of sorting by category. To accommodate that, we need to make modifications in the URL. Question mark underscore sort is equal to price comma category and order is equal to descending comma ascending. So sort price in descending order and then category in ascending order. Now if I press enter, you can see the three products where price is 4000, but we first have the product with category accessories, then electronics, and then fitness. So sorting in the ascending order of the category after sorting by descending order of the price. When building components like tables or grids, sorting is a pretty common requirement. This is pretty much how you can make a request to JSON server to serve already sorted data with no additional code whatsoever. In the next video, let's take a look at another common requirement, which is pagination. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.